Skuktash, Kam Doom. Ani ab chugit, President Harvier. Skuktash, Kam Doom. Ani ab chugit, Ricardo Juan Lennon. Today, we have an opportunity to read this book. And it's How Wow Day by Tracy Sorrell, and it's illustrated by Madeley Goodnight. River, wake up, Amber whispers. My eyes open. Today is powwow day. Then I remember, no dancing, no jingle dress competition for me. Not at this powwow. Wish my hair weren't so short, I sighed. Mama lays out the moccasins that match my dress, but everyone wants to see you, Amber reminds me. Why, I can't dance like I could before I got sick. But well, you will dance again, she responds. I stay silent as daddy drives us to the powwow grounds. I usually savor the scents of sage and sweet grass, but not today. The breeze prickles my skin. I'm tired already. Daddy arranges our chairs near the family drum. Mama squeezes me close. Doing okay? I nod, but I'm not. I watch my friend Don get ready to dance. I'm not okay. Then the powwow begins as the MC calls. Time for grand entry. Stand up. Gentlemen, remove your hats. My uncle strikes a large drum. Together they sing, Eya, Eya, We, Eya, Ha. I make a decision. At least I can dance the grand entry. You sure? Amber asks. Yep. Grandpa leads with the Eagle Staff. Other warriors carry flags into the arena. Badoom, 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 badoom. Elders head up the long line, oldest to youngest, traditional, fancy, grass, and jingle dress. Dawn squeezes my hand as we wait for Amber and the other girls to dance into the arena. My feet stay still. I can't feel the drum's heartbeat. Amber grabs my arm. You okay? She leads me back to our seats. Everyone dances and moves around the circle, all connected to the drum, Mother Earth and one another. Everyone, Amber, Don, our cousins, our friends, everyone but me, I watch through wet eyes. After grand entry, an elder prays that our dances honor the Creator that our culture and language will stay strong and that our healing will come to those who need it, like me. I rise to join the inner tribal dance, but I can't focus. Mama's steady hand guides me into my seat. The drum's heartbeat surrounds me. Bam, 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 bam. I lean against daddy and watch the competitions. Traditional dancers move and draw me in to their story. Fancy dancers twirl and ribbons whirl. The graceful grass dancers sway and weave themselves around the circle. The drum starts its beat inside of me. Then the MC calls, girls jingle dress, head to the arena. For a second, my heart leaps. But I can't do the healing dance today, even though I need it. Don said she'll dance for me. My heart swells as I see Don, my sister, our cousins and friends, step and turn, graceful and fast. Their feathered fans wave. Rows of cones clink, clink, clink on their dresses. I sit up tall as they come close. Judges move around the powwow arena and record scores. But the girls don't dance for the judges. They dance for the Creator, the ancestors, their families, and everyone's health, including mine. Badoom, 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 badoom. I stand, I open my heart. I feel the drum fully now, then I know. I will join them at the next powwow. I will dance again. The end. One of say how grateful we are this morning to have this opportunity as the president and vice president of the community to read this book with you. We hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. I hope this opens up your world a little bit more to the powwows that go on and what the dances are all about. 
So thank you for this moment.